America. Yep, I'm back. You see that right there? We need that more than anything in this country. Uh-huh. Now, the guy that stands behind this slogan, you know, he doesn't excite me all that much because he's pretty much an asshole. But, you know, he says it like it is, and I really can't disagree with how he's coming at it. The man's a dickhead, but there's a lot of bosses out there that are dickheads, and they get shit done. Anyway, what I want to show you is, here's an example of America. Um, I've got tools. i got lots and lots and lots of tools. And I went out to fix something, and I had to cut some... Um, I had to cut some uh, strapping. I used my tin snips. Well, I've got an array of tin snips in my cache of tools. Some are cheap ones, some are good ones. Now, I got a pair that I used on this project, and they're like from, I want to say the 60s, maybe even as old as the 50s, because I got them from a, a shed that I was cleaning out. And they were kind of piled in the pile. And the old man that owned them was, he died in the 70s. Anyway, they say made in the USA. But I got other tin snips. And I got a pair that's pretty expensive that doesn't say it's made anywhere. I am suspect that it's uh, not made in the United States. And they're good. But then I have another pair that has that same name on them that says they're made in the United States. And they don't work very good. So, here, let's go check them out. Here's, here's the pair that I own. I own these two. Oh, I own them all. Here's the other pair. That's the jewel. Anyway, the dark gray ones I bought probably 10 years ago. And, uh, man, they work like a champ. They still do. There's the name. But that's all you're going to find. They're 14 inch Malcos. They're actually called an Andy Snip. Somebody's trying to call me. Anyway, those snips kick ass. They cut like big time. And then I got these at Guess Where? Uh huh. Same name though, but they do say made in the USA. Now, those are 12-inch snips. They're not as heavy-duty. They don't cut very good at all. But you know where I bought them. Can I say it? I call it inbred freight, but it's actually called harbor freight. Man, they're, they're going to cut me off of the coupons now. Anyway, these, let's check it out. I have a postal bag right here. It's made of that bubble wrap stuff. Well, believe me. These right here, these ones I've had for over 10 years, they're great. At one time, I think they would have cut this. But let's, let's, let's take a snip on this. Oh, man. No, they're not cutting. No, they just kind of chewed it up. Well, let's try this other pair. This is the ones that actually say made in USA. Sold at inbred freight. I mean harbor freight. Let's see if we can cut this. Oh man. No, it won't cut. It's you know, you know what it is. It's a bubble wrap pack. It's it's kind of plasticky. It's not gonna be easy to cut. But check these puppies out here. Check these out. I want you to see, these are almost antique, they're basic, made of premium steel. Look at the name on there, Jamestown, New York, made in USA, 
Oh my gosh, this is the real deal steel. Uh, these are actually crescent. Remember the old crescent wrench? But this is when they make good steel, man. And look at those. No, no, no cuts in them. I just use them for cutting all kinds of stuff. This is in my little throw around tool bag. But check this out. Check this out. Hold on now. Don't, don't call me a liar. I'm trying to hold this phone at the same time. I need a selfie. Man. Dude, I need a photographer. <coughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, I need a photographer. Let's see if I can... I'm just going to hold on to that snip. Anyway, look at that. Anyway, I cut that corner with these snips. Sorry, but I couldn't show you because I couldn't hold on to the stuff while I was doing it. And I could try my dangdest to... Let's see if this works. Yeah. yeah. I try my dang this man. I can't get this one to cut nothing. Oh, it's cutting a little. No, it ain't cutting. This one right here. Yeah. yeah. Forget about it. It just squishes it. It just. They're junk. Let's get the old trusties, man. This is the old school stuff. Look at these stupid things. This is insanity. This is stuff from the 50s. I mean, are we going dumb or what? Are we going dumb in this world? If this doesn't give you a WTF big time, I don't know what does. And I'm throwing around the good ones, which I should be throwing around these harbor freighters. Anyway, for your information, America... We really, really, really need to get back to that. Have a good day, America.